Burling's test. Now this test is described in our literature in a variety of ways. The first of which is with extension and ipsilateral flexion. So you can have your patient sit on the edge of the table. And from here, we're going to extend the neck maximally. Then we're going to laterally flex the neck towards the side of your symptoms. And then we're gonna apply a bit of overpressure. Now a positive special test would be the reproduction of the patient's familiar radicular symptoms. So things like numbness, tingling, pain that shoots down the arm, local soreness and tightness in the neck would not be a positive special test. You can also assess the Sperling's test with a combination of ipsilateral lateral flexion as well as ipsilateral rotation. So we're gonna have you take your head here and maximally lateral flex, and then we're going to rotate as far as you're able to. And I'm gonna apply some overpressure. And again, a positive special test, you can relax for now, would be a reproduction of those radicular symptoms. And now I've got a free guide for you today. It's an evidence-based cheat sheet to cervical radiculopathy. We go over all the fundamental basics for diagnosis and treatment of cervical radiculopathy. It's an eight page PDF, and I'll take you from a novice to an expert extremely quickly. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and download that right now and get learning.